Hey guys, this is Chad from MTG Unlimited, and today I have a Cons of Tarkir speculation for you guys on the tri lands that have been spoiled. Now, if you've been keeping up with spoilers on Cons, you know that two of the tri lands have been spoiled Nomad Outpost and Mystic Monastery. We will be going over both of them. Now, these two are in particular colors to Nomad Outpost being the Speed Cunning, which is uh, red, white, black, and then Mystic Monastery, which is in. Cunning, I believe, and that's blue, red, white. So those are the two lands that we're going to be talking about. And as you can see in front of you, there are a list of all the houses and, um, or houses, clans, however you want to say it, and their uh, colors and everything about them so far. So there you go. Um, there's some info if you want to read up on it. So here we have Mystic Monastery. Now, uh, Mystic Monastery, as I said, is the Cunning Triland. And that is, of course, the triland for island, mountain, and plains. So, um, what I'd like to talk about in like detail about this is that I feel like these are supposed to give some sort of comfort to the fact that shocklands are now gone, and they're kind of forcing uh, tricolor decks, three-color decks down our throat. So. What I'm thinking about this entire set is that if people, if the meta becomes more of a standard play, as in everybody's playing, like, the three-colored decks, like, mixtures of clans, maybe, and stuff like that, that, uh, it's gonna be really slowed down, because as you can see, these do come in tapped, so, uh, unless you're playing green, obviously, but, um, I'll give you my little rant on that, so, <laughs> that's, uh, yeah, I have a spiel already. So, uh, I guess that's really about it. So, let's get into how this affects certain colors. Now, if you're playing anything other than green, this is kind of going to take a one-turn toll on you by playing these. Um, unless you're playing this turn one on green, it's still going to take that toll on you. But with green, what you can do is if you're, uh, you can play a forest and then play an Elvish Mystic in turn two, you can play this Triland, and it won't, like, uh, have a mana cost or mana issue, because you'll still have the two mana for per turn two. So there you go. Um, any decks that are playing probably red, white, blue, probably black, I guess anything that's not green, are probably going to want to play these lands, as long as they're three-colored decks or more, if you do decide to do that. So, um, I, I guess right... Uh, I recommend playing these, but I also don't, because they're kind of, they're there, but they're not. So if it's, if standard meta format has been slowed down because of this, play them, but if not, do not. So, um, as the pre-release gets closer, as more cards are spoiled, we're going to be talking about what colors to play, um, what abilities are good, what you think you can play, or well, what we think people are going to be easy to play, and stuff like that. So, um, I'd like to say that red and green, in my opinion right now, is looking like a good combination, and then maybe throw in some black or some white or some blue, whichever one you want. Um, because if raid, like I said in an earlier video, if raid is only a red thing, or, uh, is a mixture of cards, then it won't matter, but raid can be exploited to the maximum ability, so don't forget that, but, um... Yeah. So guys, as the uh, pre-release gets closer, I just want to make sure that you guys know we are going to be giving you constant updates on spoilers and um, anything else we can give you, like what colors to play, what we think you should play at least, and everything like that. So stay tuned for that in uh, future videos. Uh, tell your friends, subscribe, like, uh, favorite, all that stuff. Uh, yeah, I guess that's about it, so thank you for watching the video. Uh, if you want more on con speculation, uh, please say in the comments and subscribe if you are new. Uh, other than that, comment section if you want us to do anything else, if you have any recommendations, anything you want us to do, uh, we'll fit it right in for you, and other than that, yeah, just thanks for watching, so see you guys in the next video.